All right, so this next one is interesting. Uh, it's a piece of software called Mac Keeper. We talk about a lot of uh, utilities, and, and one that we keep coming back to on a fairly regular basis is Onyx to do a lot of the maintenance on your Mac. And there's nothing wrong with, with Onyx. In fact, I think it's great. It's free. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of other stuff out there, and we hear about it a lot. Mac Keeper I heard about uh, initially because of a completely different business relationship. And, and there were some other things that kind of went on, and, and I, I, it jaded me a little bit um, uh, to, it, to the point where I never bothered to even check out the software. Well, recently that has changed, and I checked out the software. Mac Keeper is really cool stuff. Uh, it does your, your system maintenance, the things, that, the things that we always talk about you needing, the, um, uh, you know, your, your um, permissions and, and all of that stuff. And I'm going to try and pull up another thing, but I don't know if I'm smart enough to be able to do this all at once. So here we go. Um, it, you know, cleaning up things. But it goes beyond that. It'll, um, it'll allow you to pull your... Uh, if you've got universal binaries and you, you only run Intel Max, you can slim down those universal binaries. It's got a trimmer in it. Uh, it's got a, a language remover so that you can pull out all the extra language stuff. You can tell it which languages you want to keep in the preferences, and then it pulls them out. But it does some other stuff that other people don't really do, and to have this all in one little package is really nice. Uh, they have an undelete function for things that you've actually emptied from the trash. And they're, it's pretty cool how they're tracking it. They're, they're, they're doing some cool stuff behind the scenes to make it work. Uh, and, and, you know, I mean, if the, files, if the space where the file w was has been overwritten, you're not going to be able to undelete it. But that's not always the case, and, and sometimes you can pull stuff out. They do have a shredder, which will make sure the file can't be undeleted. So, you know, you can use the software to combat itself. If you want to throw something out and make sure it's gone, you can do that. Um, they, they let you edit your login items, uh, not just the stuff in, in System Profiler, but also some of the stuff that's, that's stored in other ways. So it, it might replace something like Lingon a little bit, right, or, uh, or that. They have, um, they've got an antivirus in there, but I don't really care about that. Uh, it'll scan for Windows viruses if you, if you care about that. They have an anti-theft thing where uh, if your computer's stolen, you report it, and now the next time your computer launches, it takes a picture of it and emails that to you. And there's other people doing that. But that's, you know, the, 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 the trick there is you've got to be checking your email pretty obsessively, which you might be if your computer's stolen. But if your computer's stolen, you might not be able to check your email. So uh, not only do you have a picture of it, but as soon as they get that, they, and they've got 24-7 support, they call you and tell you, here's where your computer is, at least by IP address and all that. Uh, because they have 24-7 support, they can do a couple of other things. And in Mac Keeper, they have what they call a geek on demand, which is a geek on demand. They come in, you gotta give them permission, but you click a button and you say request a geek, and they will come in and help you fix whatever problem. They can do remote control of your computer over the web. Of course, you, you know, if your problem is I can't get on the internet, well, then, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> then you gotta call geek local. Um, but uh, it, it's pretty cool. And there's some other stuff. It's got a little backup thing in it uh, and, a, and a duplicates finder, which is cool. So, you know, it, it's doing, and I think it, I'm looking here for it because I think it also had large file finder too, so, uh, which, uh, which I might be making up because it's been a long week. But if not, maybe they'll put it in. But they're, they're right over here. They, th listen, these guys aren't great marketers, uh, and, and that was sort of what turned me off of them. But now that I, I've learned more and more about the app, I think it's a good thing. It's 39 bucks, uh, but you can use the coupon code Mac coupon code MacWorld50 for 50% off and get it for half price. So